Hello everyone, my name is Anish. I've been coming to this church for about three years now. My grandparents on both sides were small holding farmers in South India. They're also all part of an old Catholic community which traces its roots to evangelism by one of the apostles. In the 80s, when my parents moved some 1,600 miles to Delhi for work, they still held closely to their traditions while trying to improve our family's lot. So, going to Mass every Sunday, praying the rosary most nights, working hard at school, landing a, a stable, well-paying job, then marrying another St. Thomas Christian, and so on. That was the plan our parents had for my sister and I. Things started going off script for me when most of the boys my grade in middle school started getting uh, very curious about girls. I kept waiting to feel these strange, strong things. But when I did, they were not about girls. I had no words then to describe what I felt. In any case, the good Catholic in me knew it was all wrong. I told no one, afraid that once the words were out, it would make it somehow more real. When I finally told my confessor about my attraction towards the same sex, the, the priest was convinced it was a phase, and I only needed to pray to God for deliverance. There were many years of fruitless talking to God and to him alone about my troubles. When I moved out from home to the Bay Area for graduate school, I found myself, like my parents, holding on to tradition while being open to new experiences. I continued my conversations with God, but at a few other venues besides the Catholic Church on campus. After a very serene hike in Sequoia National Park, I ventured opening up to a close friend about being at least bisexual and found none of the judgment I feared. That was the start of a series of experiments in testing my own self-imposed boundaries. One of these experiments was a date at, a press club, at the press club here in San Francisco, now almost five years ago, where I first met my now husband. Another was visiting my family on the East Coast with him earlier this summer, where I was again surprised with the love and acceptance I found. Many such experiments have helped me get comfortable with what being gay and proud could be like. Looking back then, finding my voice has been about going beyond who I'm supposed to be and instead exploring and trying out who I can be.